the Masters, the US Open, the Ryder Cup, all big events, all big golf tournaments, they're not really relatable. How is a golf course set up for your club championship? Let's do it. And let's do it now. The boys are busy. How are we, gentlemen? Well, thank you. you? Very good. Hi, everyone. James Robinson here, guys. We're getting straight into today because the boys just haven't got time for us to mess about asking you to subscribe. How are we? All right, mate. You? All right. So, John, while you while you working, working, what's what's going? There's a lot of golf balls here. Are you playing or are you setting a golf course setting up? Setting a golf course up, mate. Yeah. What for? Club champs tomorrow. So I've just said my introduction was. The Masters, big tournament, mm. Ryder Cup, huge tournament, yeah. not relatable. Club Championship. Club championship, it's all about. I think Stu wins Club Championship as well, just putting it yeah. out there now. Oh, I think. He's I called think... it, hasn't he? He's called it. What? You're not giving Connor half a chance? Oh, you're playing, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, in today's video, I'm going to shadow the boys. Shadow. Uh -huh. Hold on, let me get in there. Uh, you can't get in that. I'm going to shadow the <laughs> <laughs> Right. So, we're going to go and find a better golf course and we're going to do it there. <laughs> <laughs> is that that hole done, by the way? That is that hole done. Flying through them. Oh, mate, yeah. there's no, you can't stop the wheels that are in motion. Well, I've got my own bug anyway, so I'll see you in a bit. So, guys, get in the comments below. Do you find this kind of stuff interesting? We did a couple of videos before on setting golf courses up and things like that, but never for a big tournament, never for a club championship. So I'm really excited to see what the boys do differently for a club championship. I think I'm holding them up already. So, John, yes, sir. Uh, I'm not going to, I can see that you're very busy, so I'm trying not to get in the way. Yep. But what makes a club championship, what do you do differently, maybe, as to a normal... Cheers, Connor. That's why you're not winning, mate, that. <laughs> no care, honestly, that honestly. Yeah. He's off. So what makes it differently, different, John? Do you, are you trying to say up to be harder, more fun, more? Uh, I suppose yeah. It's our we like the fact that traditionally our club championship is a true test of golf. You know, we still stick to a 36 hole competition in the. Is day. that for everyone, John? Well, not for me. No, <laughs> some of us have got to work. <laughs> uh, but no. So we it'll be tough. Yeah, the flags have been. We've been prepping for a couple of weeks, making sure we keep the flag positions free for the upcoming weekend. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's. Uh, I hope it will be a good test tomorrow. I think it should be, I think it should, right. And one of the big things I've seen, John, or realised is that I said to you, well, what time should we come down? And you said, well, there's a gap on the tee sheet at R12. Yeah. So it's trying to do it in and amongst the golfers yeah, we're, that we're already playing. I mean, as you know already, we're, we work different hours to most green keepers anyway. Yeah, it's, like, it's hardly to, at all, isn't it? But we try to, we try to, come on, it's all gone pizza. Uh, already. As soon as I'm here, isn't it? Yeah, it's as soon as you're Sorry. Yeah, so we're we're booked today, so there's less societies knocking around. You know, we've made sure there's a gap in the tee sheet for us to work in this afternoon. Um, and yeah, just minimising traffic this afternoon to make sure that the um, the golf course is as good as it can be for tomorrow. This is a Going red flags for the weekend, John. Red flags for the weekend. Any Fancy flags are coming out. Any reason for that, or? Yeah, it's just we we've always put out a nice set of flags for the weekend. <laughs> I don't know. It's just tradition, isn't it? Is that every weekend? No. I was going to say, but I've never noticed, didn't it? Yeah, it is, that's terrible. Actually. I can't <laughs> believe you had to ask that question. The amount of times you've played on the weekend. So no, we have a, a select day, so like club championships, captain days, stuff like that. You know, we we make sure we put a, yeah. a better show on for them. Very nice. So what's Connor doing there? I know obviously the greens have been cut already, haven't they? So greens but... were cut first thing this morning. Um, obviously then we've had, I don't know how many hundreds of folks roll through. Yeah. Um, so just to make sure that for tomorrow morning when we cut greens again, we've ironed out as many of the footprints that are there, any high spots, you know. Obviously we've had a lot of rain in the last few weeks, so yeah. foot traffic. It's not chewing the greens up, but it leaves, it leaves indentations. Yeah. Um, so we're just smoothing them up. 
then obviously minimal traffic this afternoon um, and then we'll cut them again in the morning me and Foxy out there this afternoon so it up. yeah so yeah cut in the morning and then probably a roll or a double roll again yeah um, pick that green speed up usually gains is about an extra foot on green speed yeah so and is this something that you're going to test check the speed of them so yeah we'll check them this afternoon and on average we're working to about nine foot this afternoon so later on in the in the day it's not bad i don't think for the, for the time of day he's um, off that lad he's had enough he says see you in a bit john i like that you've spotted that there's no one on that tee so let's go and get that one done still, mate, still. very clever um, does, look, does look posh that doesn't it Different, isn't it? Yeah, fan of that. Um, so, so yeah, we're getting about nine foot out of them this afternoon. Hopefully tomorrow morning, freshly cut, a roll on them, maybe a double roll. We'll get mm -hmm. up to ten. ten it'd be rude for me not to ask. What on earth is Stu doing with that? Stu's the man in the know. It's our new scientific bit of kit, Pogo. Pogo? It's actually called Pogo as well. It is, yeah. Phone screen seen better days, Stu, hasn't it? But oh, man, yeah, <laughs> it's got issues. What's that telling us, Stu? It's telling you about what uh, moisture's in the in the ground. Yeah. Um, obviously we've had a lot of rain lately, haven't we? Yeah. So, um, just gives us an indication of what's going on underneath. And obviously we can do pin placements as well for tomorrow. Yeah. Right. And, and ball speed. And ball speed. Right, so it's a bit of a stimp reading. A bit of stimping, yeah. Oh, but... wonderful. So it's, helped, it's a bit of a gadget for us. It helps us measure soil moistures. And then with the rain we've had, then followed by the burning. Yeah. You know, we've had for the last two days, like 20 degrees heat on the back of them. Yeah. You just want to make sure there's no high spots that are getting a bit droughted off. I must say, the, the surfaces look impeccable as well. They really do look nice. And I'm going to say as well, I speak a lot to the guys here, and this isn't just club championship. This is a. No, I mean, there's, there's extra frills and bits we put in for tomorrow, but, yeah. you know, this is not far off a standard Friday setup for us. Yeah. You know, it's. Just hoping it's, we get it done for three o'clock for a beer. I hope so. <laughs> We'll be, jacking them, we'll be jacking them last three holes in, we'll sort them out tomorrow. So we said about stimp reading, yeah. and I think a lot of people sometimes think... I think a lot of people sometimes think that stimp reading is this kind of magical computer-based system. and basic, it's, really. it's, it's a ruler, mate, isn't it? Yeah, it's a ruler. It's a ruler with a bit of a kink um, in it. Not shatter-resistant, though, like I used to get at school. I reckon, no, I reckon that shatter is I reckon if I cracked you round back at knee with that, you'd know about it. I reckon you would as well. <laughs> so, well, no, it's, are it's, you looking for a flat spot on the green? Are you looking for an average? Yeah, well, you know what our greens are like. I mean, there, isn't, there aren't many flat spots on it at all, so we tend to do sort of like an uphill and a downhill. Yeah. I mean, I suppose probably the back of the green on here is about as good as it That's gets. That's a naughty a flag spot. position as well, by the way, here on the seventh green. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's tricky, so we just, we work to an average. Oof. I need a bigger tape, Stu. It's worked out to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright mate, let go. <laughs> So that would be, if that was a flat spot, that would be incredibly fast green, wouldn't it? Yeah. So this, we'd expect this to be a little bit slower going back up the hill. Yeah. Make the too. It's still a decent pace, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing how much slopes on these greens as well. Yeah, it's the, it's the difficult thing with them is, is getting a stim where you can find somewhere flat on them. Yeah. yeah. And it's... Uh, do you try and get all 18 greens to match the same stint so you've got that's that's the idea you know that's what we're working to get i mean for us we don't really use the stint for golfers particularly eight on that one Stu. you know this is more for our own benefit so we can see the work we've done mm -hmm. and how it's affected the playing surface yeah so it's a measurement of the work we've finished yeah um so but yeah. i bet a lot of the golfers do like to know the stint if they can they do yeah but what do they do with that information it's a great point, yeah. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. You know what they'll do about it? They'll, they'll moan about it if it's not what they think it should be. <laughs> you know, what does a golfer want as his stint reading? That, you know what? really know. Let's put it to them. Stick it in the comments. So guys, get, oh, he's here again. He's here again. <laughs> so guys, get in the comments below. What would you think is the ideal stint reading for a game of golf on the club championship? I think nine. I think we're, generally speaking, we're looking for between nine and 11. Yeah. 
and, and I think on, a, on an average day, nine's good. Yeah. If we can push it up to maybe 10, 10 and a half tomorrow with where we're at, I think that'll be fine, yeah. Yeah. yeah Hook her back on, boys. How have you found you for a few weeks, Connor? All right, mate. Enjoying yeah. it so far. Good man. Where's this one going then? Par five. Do you want people to make birdies and eagles on here, or are you trying to make it a little bit more difficult? Uh, no, I don't think. I don't think it's any more difficult, really. You know, than a standard Saturday pin. Yeah. It's. Uh, I think. Are we going back right with this one? Back right. So plenty of room. Yeah. yeah, plenty of green to work Double with green as well, so it goes all the way down there, doesn't it? What usually wins club champs? Uh, well, it depends, <laughs> to be fair, because Stu's got previous. Oh, I've got previous. previous. Past winner? Yep. Ah. Oh. Uh, big number, though. Yeah, put the scores up, Stu. What was it? About eight and nine over at least. For two rounds? Yeah. It's not that bad, is it? Not, great, not, is for, it? not for not for club golf though. Great. Not bad for a four handicapper though. Well, that's what you play two handicap, aren't you? I honestly um, think a lot of the time when people play club championships, you, you think oh, I need to go and shoot five under, five under. Guarantee you, no one's winning this weekend with five under, five under, no. unless Mevzy plays. But I don't care. No, you know. I think I'm safe with that. But I think I think a good a good score will be sort of probably two over first round. And maybe then you're looking at like I would say maybe four or five over second round. Mm, depends how many beers you have between, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's yeah, test of stamina as well, isn't it? Four over, I think, tomorrow. Yeah. What, yeah. Two. Score four over. Mm. Yeah. Total. Yeah. Yeah, greens are running good. Forecast isn't bad. <laughs> I'll see what Connor's doing now. So guys, didn't really expect to be doing this, but we're going to have a go. So I'm going to change the hole, I'm going to give the green a roll as well. So if you're playing in the Woolley Park Golf Club Club Championship on Saturday and the ninth green's terrible... Yeah, I did it. <laughs> right, what do I do? It gets heavier. <laughs> uh, where are we going with this one then? Stu's the guidance man. What do you reckon? He's Come on then. Do you go hole in one pin or do you go bogey pin? We're kind of going all in one pin, to be fair. Yeah. There? Uh, there's an old one there, so we don't want to stay away from there, don't we? are going somewhere in the middle there. There? Yeah. Okay, you need that, Jam. Oh. And then we'll put an all in with this first, for this spike. All right. Got suction. Yep. Put that. Take it on the other side, yeah? Here? Yeah, uh, yeah, it'd be easier. And if you pull that out, like that, yep. and then smack a little cap, make sure it's straight, and then just keep it into it. I'll tell you what, lads, it's not, it's not bad. You get another tap. I like it. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. So right now, put that back in. That's it, flip that catch back in. That's it, and then 360 it, so spin the spin the whole unit round 360, that's it. That's it. Don't eat yourself, it hurts. And again, one more. That's it. And then up, oh, pull. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, come out, you got it all. Got it all, I think, yeah. Has he got it all? He's got it all. Looks like it. it all, so where are we putting it? Back in that one, <laughs> <laughs> Be a test to see if the flag's straight when there's... What do you mean? <laughs> no, so we'll, just, we'll leave you with all gear to do finishing off bits as well. That's it. Lower her in. Give her a little wiggle. That's it. Right, then you're just going to... So what we're going to do again now is we're going to tap it back down. So that out, you see the holes on the side of the blade? Yep. So tap it down until those holes are level with the surface. And stop there. Uh, yeah, I like that. Put the catch back in. And then this, just turn the whole handle a little bit till that drops in. That's it. So now you can use this piece, which we take out, follow the arrow, rotate, come around to this side. It'd be easier to study here with hand on there and then rotate it away from you. That's it, keep going, keep going. It'll lift all lot out. Keep going, keep going. That's it. And then carefully lift it all up. Get that. And that is one Tell you what. pretty damn good hole change, I would say. Then just work around the edges. <laughs> <laughs> so anyone who makes birdie on the ninth hole in the club championship <laughs> give that much to robin you're welcome <laughs> right cup in oh i get the scissors out as well 
when the old cup set her in. What? Yeah, right. going all the way to the bottom, yeah. Now the scissors. Is that loud? Time for the scissors. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. fine that. Such a nice touch. It's alright then, isn't it? Tell you what. A bit of finesse. I don't know, I think you've done it before. If it don't work out with Connor, boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With that, one more there. Voila! Yeah, liking that. There we go. Look at that. Not the green keeper out here yet. I imagine Wait. you probably do it a bit quicker than me. But... No, it isn't. About the final product. Right, get him on roller. Yeah, oh yeah, yes, look, look at faces. He's so <laughs> looking forward to this. Comment below. Will James manage it? <laughs> <laughs> Got my roller. <laughs> Just don't put it in there, will you? <laughs> it's quite heavy to drag out. Business. Is there a seatbelt out? No, man. Yeah. <laughs> nice straight line, pal. Any particular order? It's full of, full of lines. That was a lot more difficult than I give you guys credit for. <laughs> when you turn that way, you feel like it should be going the other way. Yeah, it's like opposite. About way, isn't like it? a right donut there, but I don't even care. No, um, mate. I so, like that. Club championship sorted. Yeah. Happy with that? Happy. I did a very bad job of that, didn't I? Well, it's yeah. done though, isn't it? Done a bit. <laughs> you know oh, boys, you didn't record. I have to do it again. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there you go. That was actually, well, it was a lot more difficult than what I give them credit for. So, um, yeah, really, really enjoyed that. That is the ninth green rolled and hole changed ready for the club championships of the weekend. Boys, thank you for your time. You, I'm going to let you get on with it now because I'm sure it's, that's taken a lot longer than it should have taken. Left your mark though, haven't you? Have I? Well, you've done it. Or thought so I'd it's... marked it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, good luck with the rest of the round. Cheers, mate. Not that you need it because you do it every day, but yeah. yeah. Um, apart from that. Apart from that, guys, if you've enjoyed that, let us know because we might do a little bit more along those lines. I know last time we did a green, I know last time we did a greenkeeping video, you all really enjoyed it. So, uh, apart from that, guys, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a like, and I'll see you at the same time tomorrow. Bye.